Good day folks, welcome back to another time video. This is video number two of our um, mini series on the three different caddis patterns. So we've done the larva, we're now on to the pupa, and uh, this one's called the Kamloops pupa. So kind of a spin-off on <coughs> Brian Chan's Stillwater caddis. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and get started here. I've got a size 12 uh, curved nymph hook in the vise, and I'm just tying with Rusty Brown 70 Denier Ultra Thread. And I'm just going to dress the hook here. Come back up to about the two thirds point. And first material I'll tie in is some medium opal tinsel. And I'm going to tie that in at that same point there. Just wrap it to the back. Just set that off to the side. And now I've got some medium brown crystal dub from uh, Hairline. Kind of a soft dubbing with some flash mixed in. Just use this to dub the body. Kind of that uh, rusty brown color. You can do olives. So play with the colors all you like. <clears throat> this is probably my most uh, my go-to color. <clears throat> Start wrapping this body. <clears throat> you want to take this dubbing up to that same point where you tied in the tinsel, that two thirds point. Take that opal tinsel. We'll rib the fly with this. Four wraps is about what you want for this fly. Okay, now I've got some natural colored pheasant tail fibers and I'm just going to take eight or so of these and just tie this in for our wing case. good there and then a couple options for this next step <clears throat> I like to use this uh, peacock ice dub <clears throat> but you can use just the uh, peacock curl as well ice dub gives a little more flash and as you fish it makes the fly a little more buggy with caddis that's not a bad thing at all so Of a little thorax there. <clears throat> Pull your wing case over top. Just tie that off like so. Back 
to the same pheasant tail. And you just want to take four or five pieces on each side. And have those just reach the very back of the hook when you tie them in. Out the excess there. And I'll just flip this over <clears throat> and then you can use angel hair for this stuff uh, if you like, but we've already got some flash built in underneath with the ice tub. So I'm just going to take some schlappen fibers just peel them off the stem and uh, this is in black and just tie in that beard underneath there clean that up and then I've got some bronzed peacock curl here use this just to form the head of the fly <clears throat> just trim off the very tip fairly brittle tie that in and five six wraps or so should be plenty. Nip that out of there. Couple turns of a whip finish. And that's about all there is to her. So <clears throat> that is the uh, Kamloops Caddis Pupa. And uh, throw a dab of super glue or some UV resin on your thread wraps there. And that's all there is to it. So hope you enjoyed that one. I know this thing will fish well for you. Give it a try. Let us know how it does for you. <clears throat> That's all there is to it. So thanks again for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.